Okay, here we are. As you can see, it says charging complete, and there is considerably more range or more capacity left that is not charged. The last time I did a 100% charge was when I did my last range update. This is range update for the 8,000 mile mark. But I have done tons and tons and tons of draining and short short depth charges. Uh, let's just switch over. What does this come to? 285 miles. But like you just saw, and I added 242 while we're sitting out here. I did that. Yes, Vin Vin. Okay, pom poms away. Okay, so back to energy mode. Uh, added exactly 70 kilowatt hours and 98%. Now, even as we we're speaking, the car is bleeding off higher voltage cells. And this is why it's so important to do a 100% charge from time to time. Let's let her start. We'll start up again. And already can, you can see the voltage on the packs at 404 when a balance pack will read 403 at 100%. I'm quite a bit out of balance at this point, so I am actually going to do 100% tonight at home. So let's just see what happens. So it's actually charging now at 2 kilowatt hour. Put the toes away. It even says five minutes remaining, but uh, we've already, it's already taken two hours to get to this point. So we are going to head out, but uh, once again, just to show the importance of doing uh, more 100% charges if available. Of course, just make sure it's timed so that you actually are going to use the 100%. Don't leave it sit at it, especially when it's 95 degrees outside. That's right, Vin Vin. So we're gonna head home now. We got some major thunderstorms coming.